Uh, salamat pagi ira sa and Brasto san. Okay, uh, in the last meeting on uh, 3rd December, um, I showed uh, some uh, checking table tests for retrofitting. Then uh, today I will explain about uh, procedure of uh, retrofitting construction in Padang Pariaman. So in addition, so this is like uh, my message for the uh, retrofitting. So uh, as you know, like uh, worldwide, uh, many people killed by asking, but it's not um, it's not uh, by asking. Um, it's killed by uh, collapse of buildings. So uh, there, uh, mostly no engineered construction. Then, so if we take situation in Indonesia, we can find many uh, non-engineered structure like in rural site, and then even in, in the town also we can find many non-engineered non construction. Then uh, I think um, dissemination of uh, retrofitting is one of the key of uh, uh, one of the key of uh, for the reducing loss of life for the old people. So um, through uh, this project, uh, I hope uh, people uh, understand first uh, like a vulnerability of their house, and then uh, people uh, understand like uh, effectiveness uh, retrofitting. Okay, uh, so uh, anyway, okay, today I will explain about uh, procedure of uh, Padang Pariyama project. I will introduce about uh, that retrofitting process on the house in Padang Pariyama through Mason training. And this is for the dissemination to the people. The, uh, retrofitting of existing, existing buildings. Retrofitting at strengthening is an improvement over the original strength that is affected by their original structure in the frequency. The, uh, so such as material deterioration due to time, uh, such as damaged structure element by a stick, uh, and include built on improper construction. And the uh, retrofitting and strengthening procedures aim to the uh, following object, uh, increasing the lateral strength in the one or more direction by re reinforcement or by increasing wall area or the number of walls and columns. Um, and uh, giving unity to the structure by providing proper connection between its uh, resisting elements. Typical important uh, aspects are connection between wall and foundation and between intersecting walls. So this uh, giving unity like uh, become uh, like a uniform like between uh, main elements, like a wall to wall and the wall to foundation is very important. And avoiding the uh, possibility of brittle mode, uh, brittle, mode, brittle mode of failure pattern. Yeah, so this is, uh, three topic is very important for the lay, uh, lay, uh, retrofitting. Okay, and then, um, as you know, this uh, model house in Padang Pariyama is this is uh, like a location of uh, model house. So here is uh, Padang uh, Airport is here, and the model uh, house is here. So uh, it takes uh, 15 minutes by car. So Padang Pariyaman, uh, Barang Anari, and then Nagari is Sangai Ura. So this is a uh, house of uh, for retrofitting project. So this is uh, constructed uh, at uh, 1991. So it means um, there were uh, two uh, big earthquakes, 2007 and then 2009. But uh, this house uh, has like a not, uh, no damage by earthquake. And the occupancy is two people, two, uh, two grandparents and then two parents, two aunts, two children. So this is uh, like uh, that model house. So structure method is confined masonry by half brick layer. 
and then uh, constructed by like a uh, non engineer, non engineer construction. So this is the plan. So the biggest wall is that the span is around four four point three meter. And then uh, shorter one is uh, another direction is three point three. And then this is height of model house. Uh, they are um, prince beam and then uh, they are uh, like a linter beam. That height is 2.6. Then they are uh, gable wall. So this is an um, area of confinement walls. So this uh, red part is more than 9 square meter. So it means um, Anyway, uh, like a uh, confinement area should be less than 9 square meter by key requirement. So it means um, most walls is not following key requirement. Then, uh, so this house, uh, the gable wall is just on the front side. There are no gable beam. There are no crown in the gable wall. And then uh, gable wall has supported wall on the center. And uh, this uh, house highest part is uh, uh, sorry. Uh, this uh, gable wall highest part is 2.7 meter from RCB. And then there are uh, roof wooden truss is set back from brick walls. So this uh, front. Uh, wooden truss is set back from one meter, ah, from brick wall, from, uh, from brick wall, one meter. And, uh, yeah, there, uh, concrete beam, but beam was set different level. And the most wall doesn't have beam on top. There, freestanding brick masonry wall on lintel beam. And some openings are fixed later. They are a huge gap like this. And um, this is a prince beam, like a prince beam, like a foundation level. This house has prince beam. Concrete, I think, uh, concrete condition is not bad. But uh, this uh, soil condition of site is very soft. We uh, try to insert steel bar. Uh, 10, uh, 10 millimeter steel bar and then until 6 meter we can insert so it's very soft soil so this is uh, our evaluation so this building standing on soft soil but prince beam looks strong uh, looks strong enough because there are no damage on prince beam by experienced too large aspect the gable wall should be strengthened and uh, the wall and the confinement elements should be uniform between brick wall and ground and beam, between inside, uh, intersecting wall and between wall and foundation. So this is a retrofitting method. So left side, this is existing building condition and then adding uh, jacketing or uh, bandaging. So we call jacketing, but uh, some people are calling bandaging. It's the same method. So then uh, all walls covered by wire mesh, through jacketing, through bandage. So this is uh, after jacketing. So this retrofitting method provides increasing lateral strength in both directions, especially increasing tensile strength and uh, giving unity to the structure by providing a proper connection and avoiding the possibility of uh, brittle failure pattern uh, by this jacketing. So anyway, uh, we are following this uh, guide, guideline for retrofitting. Yeah, uh, Jaika made this uh, retrofitting guideline. And then um, in the field, in Padampariyaman, uh, we had a uh, discussion with uh, Mr. Teddy Boon and uh, Professor Iman Sati Aruna from Gajamada University. And then uh, we decided to uh, retrofitting method for this building. 
So this is um, in the field. Um, we bought uh, some material for uh, retrofitting. So this is left side is from that uh, guidebook, and then uh, right side is yeah. I took picture in the field. So wire mesh is um, galvanized weld wire mesh. Spacing is 25 millimeter. Diameter is one mm diameter. And then fixing tools and mat uh, materials. Drill, bending wire, nail for temporary fixing. That nail is for temporary fixing. And for plastering, mortar ratio is one cement, three sand by volume. So wire mesh. Uh, wire mesh should be sandwiched uh, by plaster, by mortar plaster. Uh, wire mesh should be fixed in the mortar plaster to keep distance one centimeter from brick surface and outside should be covered by mortar more than one centimeter. So this one centimeter uh, outside is uh, for the, it's uh, important for the durability. Okay, and then um, through training, uh, we started making like this uh, um, uh, fixing wire mesh. <coughs> so in the guidebook, uh, they are uh, written uh, like this method, and then we try to make it guideline by mortars to make a guideline on the vertical or horizontal by mortar. This method doesn't need additional materials. For example, like uh, they don't need to buy names, but uh, our through this experience, but it uh, takes a time. So this guideline by mortar. Uh, first of all, uh, fix more, fix mold. This mold is like a timber mold um, for the guideline mortar. Then uh, through experience, let's understand. Uh, for the full jacketing, it takes time. The timber mold should set one by one or a little by little, not uh, wall wall or wall uh, uh, picks by like, this mold. But, uh, I think this method suitable for the partial jacketing. This is uh, less under about this method.